So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own items very easily in Minecraft Bedrock Condition using a brand new plugin from Blockfinch, which is called the Minecraft Item Wizard. Now this lets you make your own kind of foods, your own armor, weapons, basically all sorts of different items. It is really cool. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So once you load into Blockfinch, you first need to go to File, go down to Plugins, and you're going to look up Minecraft Item Wizard. Then go back over the file, click on New, and you should see the plugin. Once you go ahead and click on this, then it's going to make you agree to the EULA. So go ahead and check mark it, click OK. Once you go into the Minecraft Item Wizard, then you can choose from several presets. Now for the presets, you've got iron ingots, which would be like your standard items. You've got food, you've got weapons, tools, and even your armor pieces. So we're going to choose iron ingot because we want to make a regular item which has no properties whatsoever. But we're going to move on to naming. So I'm going to call this test item 1. And then afterwards we have the identifier. So as you're filling out the display name, it's also going to fill out the identifier. But however, I do recommend changing the first part of it just to make it easier on you. Then afterwards we have the stack size, which can range from 1 to 64. Then afterwards it's going to be the creative category. So where in the inventory do we want it? By default it's going to be on equipment and it will not be in an item group. But if you wanted to put this somewhere else, then you can absolutely do so. The next step is going to be functionality. Now, by default, none of these are going to be checkmarked. So, I guess this is a regular item. But if you wanted it to do melee attack, then you could do so. You can also make it break specific blocks. If it's an armor piece, then you choose wearable. You can also make it into a food, a furnace fuel, or even make it place an entity. But since it's a regular item, I will not select any of these. But we're going to move on to design. And this is the cool part. So within Minecraft, have you ever wanted to make a 3D item? Well, this lets you do exactly that. So if you make yourself any kind of item with this, you can either just have it be the icon or an icon plus 3D model. So this means that you can make like 3D weapons, 3D foods, pretty much 3D anything, which is definitely my favorite part of this. And I can also make it have an enchanted glint if I really wanted to. But if I were to select icon plus 3D model, then I click next, then let's move on to export. So you can either export it to your development folders, you can integrate it into another add-on, or export it as an MC add-on. You also got yourself the pack name, and then we have ourselves the authors. Now this is completely optional, but of course you can also import a pack icon as well. If I were to select next, then it's going to tell us it's been exported. And if I click next again, then it's going to display these two options. So since I chose icon plus 3D model, we can edit both the icon and we can add a 3D model. I'm going to go ahead and begin with the icon. Then it's going to put us into a painting section so we can change how the icon looks. But of course you also still got the option to edit this in your own software. So if you don't want to use Blockbench for some reason, you can always use things like Photoshop or some other photo software. But I'm just going to give this a nice smiley face. It's also going to open up the model for you as well. So you don't have to do any extra steps. The next step is going to be food items. But this time for a name, it's test food item. And for the text size, we'll make this 12. And for the creative category, Category. By default, it's going to be nature and crops. But I want to move this over to raw food. And then there's functionality. And now as you can see, food has been checkmarked because this is a food item. But let's go ahead and see what's inside of here. So first up is food type. Is it going to be a food that you can eat, like an apple or a steak or bread? Or is it like a potion or honey bottle where you can just drink it? The next up is going to be the eat duration. Like how long does it take to consume the item? By default, it's at 1.6 seconds. But I want to make this a little bit quicker, so I'm going to make it a 1. Then we have nutrition, which is how much does the food bar fill up. We're going to make this to half a hunger bar. And then we have the saturation modifier, which essentially works like another hunger bar. And then we have can always eat. So can you always eat this food no matter what? So this will be things like mushroom stew or even a potion. Then we're going to click next. And this time we're not doing the 3D model. We're only going to do an icon. And I'm also going to choose ancient glint. And then we're going to click next and integrate it into pack this time. And we're going to choose test items. Which is going to be the pack that we're making. Then we're going to click next. Next. And now we can choose our icon. And then we can now edit our icon. So yet again, we're going to continue the theme and give it a nice smile. The next up is going to be our weapons. So we got our name selected and our stack size at a 1. We're going to keep this on default since this is a weapon. Then for the creative category, we're going to also going to leave this other one as well. It's going to be in equipment and swords. Then we have functionality. And this time we have melee attack 
in durability. The melee attack by default is 3.5 hearts, aka 7, which is comparable to an iron sword. If you wanted to increase this, then you can absolutely do so. But for this, I'm going to make this do 10 hearts of damage, which is also 5 full hearts. And then for the durability, by default, it's going to be at 251, which is the same as iron. But I want it to be a little bit higher than iron, so I will make this a 306. So I'll be able to use this sword 306 times. Then we can also choose a repair item, so like which item is going to repair the sword when you use an anvil. By default, it's going to be an iron ingot, but you can basically choose any item you want in the game. Then we have the repair amount, which is how much the item will repair. And by default, it's at 25%, so it will always repair that much. But I'm going to keep this on default. And then I'm going to click next. And this time we're going to do icon and 3D model. And we're also going to do an icon event. So we're going to click next, integrate into pack as items and next and next again then you can once again change the icon in the model the next step is the pickaxe section which would be like tools so we're going to click next there is our name selected stack size one in the creative category in here we can choose our melee attack or durability but also we can make this break block so you can make this break specific blocks we got wood stone metal dirt sand gravel grass and snow but if you were to choose custom then you can put whatever name inside of here so if I wanted to, I can make this break glass. And I'm going to increase the speed to 12. So that's going to break it quite quickly. And I'm also going to decrease the metal to be a 4. So it's going to be a bit slower. Now before we move on, let me explain furnace fuel and place entity. So within the furnace fuel section, you can choose how many items the item is going to burn before the fuel runs out. So by default, it's going to be a 1. So it's always going to about 1 item before you need to refill it. But I want to make this as good as coal. It can then smelt 8 items at a time. So then it can smelt 8 items at a time. Then we also got place entity. Now you can make this place whatever entity or mob you want. But you can also choose a custom ID. So you can choose whatever mob you want. But I'm going to uncheck both of these. We're going to click next. We're going to choose icon 3D model. But no icon event. And we're going to click next. Integrate into pack. Test items, next, next, then we can edit our icon in 3D model. Finally, let's go over armor, which is definitely extremely easy. Just go ahead and choose your specific armor piece. So for me, I want to make myself a helmet. Then I'm going to click next. There's our naming complete. Stack size will be at a 1. In the creative category is equipment and helmets. Then we have functionality. So we want it to be wearable. In which slot we wearing it? We can make this be placed on the head. We can use only cheats, but you can also put it in leggings, the feet, the offhand, the saddle section. You can put this in the horse armor slot or the chest slot, which I would believe is the chest plate. But since it's a helmet, we're going to keep it on the head. Then we have the protection. At default, it's going to be at two armor bars, which is one full armor bar. But I want this to protect a little bit more, so I'll make it a four, which is also two full bars, which is also two full armor bars. Then you can also choose the durability, but I'm going to click next. Now unfortunately for the armor pieces, we cannot make custom 3D icons. We can only make 2D icons. We're going to go down to export, integrate into pack, and test items. Then we can edit the helmet icon and what the helmet will look like when you're wearing it. Then the next step would be testing in game. So as you're loading into a world or creating a world, you need to go down to behavior packs, go down to my packs, and enable your add-on that you just created. In my instance is test items. And once you do activate that, then the research pack should automatically activate. And you also need to activate these experiments. You need all of the creative features and upcoming creative features. And then simply click on create or play and load anyways. And once you get into the world, go and open up your inventory and go ahead and find your items. So right here is going to be our custom items. We have our custom food to begin with. We can only get 12 at a time. Then we also got our custom helmet. We've got our custom ingot right here, which goes only to 32. We also got our custom pickaxe and our custom weapon. And since I did change how fast you can eat this, we're going to be able to eat this quite quickly. And then we have our custom helmet. So if I equip this, then it goes right on top of her head. So that is definitely a very quick way to make any armor you want. And I definitely do like that. And then we have our custom ingot. And since we made this into a 3D model, we're actually going to be owning a 3D model. Now this is definitely pretty cool. Then we have our custom 3D pickaxe. And we also got our 3D sword. But that's basically how you can make your own custom items for Minecraft Bedrock Edition using the Minecraft item wizard. But down below in the comments, go let me know what you think of this. For now, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, then please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're under, and don't forget to turn on notifications. But for now, I hope you have a lot of good day, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.